everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I have a fun craft and gift idea for you today. It's very inexpensive, easy to make, but if you are invited to any type of spring or Easter party, this would make a great gift. Let's get started. For this project, I have three mason jars. They are all different sizes. I have a large jar, a little bit smaller jar, and an even shorter jar. So I want three different sizes for this project. All of these can be purchased at the 99 cents store. I also am going to be using some Spanish moss, which I got at the Dollar Tree, and some floral pieces that I had left over from a previous project, but these did come from the Dollar Tree as well. They just had some other pieces attached to them. These eggs came from the Dollar Tree and were left over from my egg wreath project. And I had these little eggs left over as well. They are from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to be using some really, really thin twine, which you can get at the Dollar Tree. And I have some scissors and some wire cutters for my flowers. I'm also gonna be using a small hot glue gun. First, I'm gonna take my Spanish moss and I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom of each jar. Next, I'm gonna take my small thin twine and I'm just gonna cut some little pieces like this that have a few circles together to sit inside the bottom to help it sort of look a little bit like the shape of a nest. Next, I'm gonna add my eggs, and then last, I will add my floral. If you're concerned about the eggs moving, you can feel free to glue them down. I am going to add a touch of hot glue to my flowers and my floral pieces to glue them down. Um, one of the things that I did with this pretty little greenery is I just cut some pieces at an angle that I'm just going to use to add in and add a little bit of greenery and I'm gonna do that now. The other thing I'm gonna do is trim some pieces off about this size so that they can fit inside the jars. Last, I'm gonna take some of this twine and I'm going to wrap it around each jar a few times. I'm sure you noticed that a couple of the jars I got at the Dollar Tree actually had um, this wire and a handle on them. So that was really cute. But I'm still gonna just add this and just tie a little bow off to the side right here. do that for the other two jars as well. I 
I am really happy with how these turned out. I actually found these little twigs in my craft room as I was finishing up, so I did add those as well. But each one is so unique. You can either give them as a gift or put them out as a decoration together or one at a time. This is the tall mason jar. You can see the little eggs inside and the floral pieces sticking out toward the top. This was the medium size one. It turned out really cute. And the thing that's really cute about this as well is if you give it to someone, they can either hang it on a hook or they can put it out on a shelf somewhere. And then of course, this is the little one. I'm really happy with the three different sizes and I think they look really cute together. I also wanted to show you how cute this looked. If you do buy a jar and use one of the ones that has the metal hanger on it, how cute it looks hanging from a stand outside. I was really happy with how it turned out. What do you think, Rai Rai? You like it, buddy? All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my video. I think our jars turned out really, really cute. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it encourages you to go out and make something fun and take it as a hostess gift for any type of spring or Easter party that you're heading to this season. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!